Today we will teach how to use the turnal annealing furnace. First, uh, we will go to uh, install the power for the machine. There is three lines, uh, one uh, three phase line and one natural line and one zero line. And then we come back. First, we open the main power of the machine. Open the chamber switch. Open the water pump. Open the ammonia dissociator switch. All open. This one, it is the high temperature, high temperature furnace ammonia regulator. We need to adjust this to six. Let's adjust to the six. And uh, this one, it is the cooling chamber ammonia regulator. Normally, we adjust to two. Let's see, adjust to two, nearly. Okay, fine. This one is the, it is the chamber thermal regulator. Normally, we set to 950 degrees. How to set this one? We press set. And then press this one, this one. Normally, we set 900, mean nine, 900. And uh, press this one, press this one to set 50 degrees. And uh, after you set the degree you want, you will click the set again. Then we already set this temperature. For this one, this is the timing setter. Uh, we can set when you want to start the work and when you want to off the machine. Uh, the red one, uh, let's say the white one first. The white one, it is for the time to close the machine. Like, we want to close the machine at 2 a.m. When this one will work, work itself. And uh, when it arrives to, whole machine will be off. And uh, this one, it is on. You will set the machine, you want to start the machine uh, at 5 o'clock. This one will go around and uh, when it reach 5 o'clock, whole machine will automatically start. This one, it is the water chamber, uh, cooling chamber temperature setting. Normally, the max temperature cannot uh, up to 55 degrees. If the machine, uh, the cooling chamber degree over 55 degrees, uh, the pieces will not appear, appear beautiful. And uh, for this one, it is the belt speed regulator. This one, it is the speed regulator. It is for the belt speed regulation. Uh, when you open the machine, here will be flux. And uh, you can uh, put forward, press this one, and uh, this one, it is the speed. The belt working, you can regulate from here. If something emergency, you can press stop. After you press stop, this one will show like this. And then when you want to start working, you just press forward. Machine will work smoothly. This one, it is the ammonia dissociator thermal regulator. Normally, the temperature is 860 degrees. You don't need to set anything. If you want to set the function, it is same, uh, same as the chamber thermal carbon regulator. This one, it is water in, and this one, it is for water out. We need to prepare a two CBM water tank. The first time when you use the machine, you use you need to use this to put into the water water tank to fill the water inside the chamber. And then after this one, have the water go outside, being this one is okay, can work smoothly. This, uh, this is the ammonia. First, you open the switch, and uh, when you see the ammonia is inside here, you need to regulate uh, this one. Normally, we need to set to 0.15. Let's set it. Uh, we need to set 0.15. After you set 0.15, this one is fine, 0.15. Uh, the first time, you need to connect the ammonia. First, you open the four screw of here, and then take this one out, 
and uh, connect the opinion here with mine. After the all switch open and all setting is fine, we need to check this temperature. Once the temperature reaches 860 degrees, and we can check if here is some fire. After the temperature reaches 860 degrees, we can find some fires here. Actually, both sides of the machine, of the tunnel, should have the fire. If this side have fire, another side don't have the fire. We need to check if both sides have the fire. We can find that side is has fire, then but this side don't have the fire. We need to put something. We need to put something. 